listeners and this gave me an idea for tomorrow's video so make sure you guys also look out for a video for tomorrow i already have an idea for what i want to do so um yeah make sure obviously you guys comment down below your team your team your team i love hearing your guys opinion i love 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 knowing what you guys are thinking or if you're just too tired just sit back relax but make sure you leave a like on the video if you like the video and also subscribe
as a player individually, he is very, very versatile when he is on the right team and the right fit. So I feel like having that player at the two guard position, sure, could I take a, a, a Zach Levine or a CJ McCollum player and get a player who can get, you know, 40, 50 points? Sure, I guess I could. But I think having the versatile, the versatility of Victor Oladipo is pretty important. So Victor Oladipo, one dollar, my first player. Okay, so now taking a look at the rest of the list, that's usually the first thing I do is get a good steal player. Now, the next thing I usually do when I do these videos, or when I at least when I do these by myself, is look for my go-to, my star, my big boy purchase. And when I look at a lot of these sort of big time players, if I do have a Victor Oladipo player who can be, you know, a, a good scorer, I kind of want someone who can just explode for big points. And I might as well pick up the five dollar, five dollar boy himself. At five dollars, the backcourt made to Victor Oladipo, Damian Lillard. I think that's pretty good. So we have, you know, a player in Victor Oladipo who can just, you know, be that sort of complementary piece to Damian Lillard on the defensive end, but can still score on his own when need be. But Damian, as we all know, can go for fifty points on any given night. Great uh, floor stretchability. Great driver to the rim. Very, 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 very very good team leader in general. Any team with Damien is better. I'm picking Dame Dalla for my $5 sort of big time piece, I guess you could say. Wow, that's pretty good. And obviously Damien being, you know, 30 point per game scorer this year, MVP candidates, you know, basically dragging the Blazers, a very unhealthy Blazer team, to a very comfortable-ish playoffs uh, sort of standing right now, being I think the sixth seed right now, which is a for how bad Portland has been so far this year. I think that speaks volumes in itself. So, I got a backcourt of Damian Lillard and Victor Oladipo. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Taking a look at all these other players, man, I just don't know what else to do. Hmm. Well, if I have Dame and I have Oladipo, up your team when you're trying to make a full squad with not a lot of money. 
money, so I'll see what I have, but I might upgrade him to a Paul George. Paul George, man, that's that's a whole different animal, man. Paul George can definitely, again, be a 30-point per game scoring himself if he wasn't on a team with already Kawhi Leonard, so I'll just stay with Chris Melton for now, but I might upgrade him to Paul George because that would also be a, a scary player to have. Okay, so I right now I have Damian, Victor Oladipo, and Chris Middleton as my three players. That's really good. That's a really good all-around squad for sure. So that is five dollars in Dame, one dollar in Victor Oladipo. That's six, and then I have three dollars with Middleton. So that's nine. So out of nine dollars, I have six dollars left. I have the power for a position in my opinion is the weakest obviously with only having you know Carmelo Anthony who is a, a good you know off the bench player but starting on a sort of you know pick your best lineup type of guy I don't really know if he's you know the one dollar play you want then you have Joe Harris who I don't even think is supposed to be on this list
center but 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 averages 50% from the field 34% from the three point line uh this year and in 2018-2019 he averaged 40% from three so he's a very capable three point shooter which will be nice for us 80% from the free throw line uh over Yeah.